Hey everyone, Liam here and welcome to my day five vlog of the US Open. Trust me, if you don't watch the vlogs throughout the entire way, you're gonna to wanna to watch this one. We've got some so much amazing content for you guys, as well as the amazing vibes that there were on the practice courts today. I got to see the likes of Carlos Alcraft's up close in practice, Novak Djokovic up close on practice, Yannick Sinner, Coco Goff, managed to see Adrian Manorino as well, get a selfie with him, Francis TFO on the match court against Adrian Manorino, and so much more. Guys, it's probably the most, the best content vlog I've got in a long time so make sure you watch it until the end and let's get into it as it was friday the first day of labor weekend in new york there were so many more people coming onto the grounds so we decided you know what when we came there this morning let's go through the outside entrance where you have the big globe and you know what it was probably a really good decision because when you come through this entrance you can see so much historic data on sort of the history of the us open the winners as you can see there i'm zooming in on carlos alcraz's name once he won in 2022 we also see champions of the past the likes of agassi lendl or even like kim slicers there at the end and the Grounds are beautiful. We handed over to court eight straight away as Adrian Manorino was preparing for his match against Francis TFO later that day. We got really good seats there, obviously, because not many people were focusing on Adrian Manorino. There wasn't many good practices going on that morning, mainly the doubles as all the double ma all doubles matches had started going on at the US Open this year. And as we are into the third round, obviously there's less and less players on the ground. But as you can see there, there was still a lot of people. And then as you can see, Adrian had to run to the toilet and come back halfway through practice but you know what he was all smiles about everything and he was laughing around a lot with his team which was always great to see He then finished his practice and him and his team were, I wouldn't say mobbed, no, more of a gentle, can I get a few autographs here and there? And then I actually managed to get myself a quick selfie with him, which was nice from him and then walked around and I knew exactly where I wanted to go. It was P1. Obviously, Alcaraz was coming on there at 1 p.m. So watch a little bit of Madison Keys first. And as you can see there, we had a fair few good players practicing along the way nearby. But then the main man himself, Carlos Alcaraz, showed up and everyone was extremely happy because obviously everyone wanted to see the world number one in action. What was great to see is that you had the likes of Daniel Medvedev, Onjabur, Alexander Zverev, and then Carlos Alcaraz all on the practice court at the same time, which was quite funny. <laughs> And as you can see, we got really good seats and the fans were out there and the security were doing a pretty good job at keeping them at bay. Carlos then threw some balls over to the fans. And by the way, all these practices that I've seen, I have got practice videos coming out onto the channel. So make sure you watch that. We then headed over to Louis Armstrong just as this Viatech match ended and just in time for the Adrian Manorino and Francis TFO match. We only watched one set there because we wanted to grab lunch before we headed again back to the practice courts because obviously Novak Djokovic will be playing later. But in the meantime, we watched Yannick Sinner practice there as well, which was great to see. This is the second time I've seen him this year practicing. Taylor Fritz showed up on the next court and then you can see both of them there practicing their forehands inside out. And then Yannick, before he left, he threw some balls as well into the stands. Tsitsipas then showed up. He was supposed to be on the court next to Novak's, but he stayed all the way at the end. Coco Goff also showed up. <laughs> the closer it got to Novak time on practice court, the fans started preparing the chance for when Novak came out. And as you'll see later in the video, Novak had a great reaction to it. Novak was scheduled to be on P1 at 6 p.m. But at 6 p.m., these couple kids showed up and started playing some really good tennis, to be honest. I mean, they look like they're nine or 10 years old, one of them, and the other one looks like she's seven. But them and their father were playing some amazing points. And then Novak finally showed up. And as you'll see in a second, the crowd did the chant and Novak loved every single second of it. <laughs> 
This is Harry, by the way. He was managing all of the seats. And you know what? He did a great job. Everyone was having a blast with him and his boss even came out to give him an ovation. My associate. <laughs> Novak then finished his practice and he would say he left the court in a rush, not before doing his team's sort of little chant before they left. Everyone putting their hand in and doing a little push and then Novak was off. But you know what? This was probably one of the best days there was because it shows you how good the US Open is in terms of for any sort of fan. I got a little high from Harry at the end. Thank you so much. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Thank you. And you know what? Harry and the team managed everything great. They, the vibes were incredible. It shows you that a ground pass really can get you anything at the US Open. We did have our Farage tickets for the entire day, but we ended up selling them just because we knew that we wanted to spend most time on the practice courts and Armstrong today. And then we headed home at the end of the day and it was a great day. And thank you for watching day five.